When we first started dating, I went and visited him in Victoria before I moved down there. And he took me to Rockport to so I could see like the golf because I never saw the golf before. And uh, he got us a hotel room at um, a beautiful place. And um, we had crab and I don't like seafood, but I like that meal. And that was one of my most favorite memories. We were here at NIMI. I was a freshman in junior college and, and she, she was a senior in high school and she was the one, she was an old cadet. And me being a rat, she was the one yelling at me. And she's, she's 4'10", I'm six foot tall. And I have this little girl yelling at me and I'm looking around at my buddies and it's like, guys, is this a joke or what? And, and then from then she cracked up. She couldn't keep a straight face. And I remember that it was just day one. I was like, but, but everybody says that it was love at first shout when she yelled at me. His loving and caring um, nature, how much he cares about everybody he comes in contact with. Uh, he never meets a stranger and he's so friendly to everybody. She, she loves me for who I am. Um, she has the biggest heart. Um, man, she cares so much about people. Like, she cares too much, almost. Like, it's possible. Like, it's like, sometimes I have to tell her, it's like, get mad. Get mad at somebody. You no, know, stand up for yourself. She's genuinely the nicest person on this planet. It was when we were talking over the phone and he asked me um, to have a date, a, a virtual date, and we watched 10 Things I Hate About You. And um, it was there because he kind of hinted that he wanted to make it more uh, permanent at that time. And, he, he's the one for me. You know, it's kind of interesting. Um, when we, she had commented on a picture on Facebook about us, uh, or from when I was a freshman in college here, and she commented on it, and we kind of just were bantering back and forth, and then we started talking, and then things kind of progressed, and we kept talking more and more. Well, about two weeks before that happened, I had kind of really just came to the conclusion I wanted to find a companion to spend the rest of my life with. And I was I had, was at a very low point in my life. The fact that I remember talking to my parents, it's like, Mom, Dad, I'm lonely. I, I want that companion. And, and they said, let's pray about it. And we prayed about it. And about two weeks later, here pops up Zoanne on Facebook, and and it was like, and then soon after, really just kind of start talking to her on the phone daily. I was like, this, I know this is quick, but this is the answer to God's prayer, genuinely. You know, no matter what, we've gone through a lot in this past year of us just being together. Um, we've gone through some uh, obstacles and we've come together even more and as the years go on I hope that we can continue to love each other just as much as we love each other now and it gets stronger and stronger. I love you more. I would do anything for you. It may seem like you had to ask me twice, but you didn't even have to ask me. I'll do it, whatever you want. I love you more. Just, I love him. Yeah. Let's just have fun with all this. And I want to have fun for the rest of my life with you. Uh, this, this couldn't have happened any better, in a better way, better place. 
better place that we met. It all started here 15 years ago. And now forever is starting.